What I do want to do is apologize to Johnny for ever getting involved in the ins and outs of his personal and clearly very toxic relationship. All right, I want to say, I just want to show you this little clip because I don't want to show you too much uh, because I don't want to be blocked. So I already watched this whole clip, right? And uh, it's going around like, okay, it's Dan Watton is apologizing to Johnny Depp. Well, honestly, if you hear this whole clip, this doesn't really come across as an apology uh, because he still maintains certain things in regard of the UK trial as if the UK trial is as important as the one in the US and before because uh, Amber won in the UK which she didn't want of course anything she was just part of the trial it's like a split decision uh, with the win in the US and uh, Megan Megan Kelly uh, says not 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 really because the jury here was found you know found her uh, liable of defamation so anyway you see that he's still beating around the bushes trying to bring up this uk trial if it was like really like a haha -ha moment and uh, the, this apologies to me comes across just as a sort of like damage control because he now felt the brunt of what it feels to be cancelled by the mob culture right and he's also talking about how uh, he realizes that when an ex, right, referring either to his case or Amber Heard, that has actual malice, does things with actual malice, right, the extent they can go in order to damage basically somebody else's reputation. Ha ha. Like something that we have understood just by listening to few clips that were available online, right leaked by whoever we don't care but we got to hear and experience firsthand the dynamic between the two people and you can say until you know 2030 oh they're the toxic relationship they're the toxic relationship everybody that hasn't gone in depth in this case always uses this excuse ah they were both toxic just to try to diminish the responsibilities from the side where the malice actually took place which is the ex-girlfriend so we always have to set the fucking record straight here because i'm also fed up with those sniveling cows of journalists just trying to do damage control for their own career they don't care about the truth they don't give a shit about Johnny Depp. They just give a shit about themselves trying to be back online. And now they're pretending like, oh, I was wrong to get involved. I shouldn't have gotten involved in the first place. Well, it was very convenient to you getting involved in the moment where you were supported by the whole mob of the Me Too movement or whatnot, right? But now it's so obvious. It's so obvious to everyone, even after almost two years now, right? That they're still trying to defame Johnny with all kinds of bullshit. It's so obvious to most of, mo obvious to most of the people, the truth, right? That Johnny Depp is actually trending again right now on, on X, as you can see right here. I just was checking Explore and then Johnny Depp is already trending again, obviously because of a uh, sort of apology going on. And I just want to say, well, in a way, you know, even though this is not really an apology, nice old pictures here, just in case, just a little break of old pictures, that Jimi Hendrix right there, right? So, uh, as an apology, it doesn't really work. As a video, it's a still kind of a uh, sleazy video, in my opinion. But at least, right, at least confirms one more time what we already knew and let's not forget that actually the malice from an ex-girlfriend that was grinding that axe caused johnny depp a lot it really cost him a lot and only now after probably six seven years slowly is you know way of being back into cinema whatever it's beginning basically right he has done only one movie um so far He's working another one on, on Modigliani, which will come out later on. I don't know if next year or so. So slowly coming back, that reputation, that image that it costed him literally millions of dollars of a star that was at the height of his career for a very long time, was one of the biggest star, one of the biggest paid actor 
big franchises, he lost all of it. He lost all of it because of that person. And this guy still doesn't have the guts to hone, you know, uh, the mistakes that he made. And he's trying to deflect the blame by using all these like redundant arguments, which nobody believes in them anymore. So I'm tired, man. I'm tired of this shit, honestly. But yeah, there you go again. In my opinion, another victory for Johnny Depp.